Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about renewing of your mind. Renewing of your mind. You might have heard of this quite a few times. What does it mean to renew your mind? If you look at the scripture, then this is how it defines it in Romans 12 too. Do not be confirmed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I want you to remind all of us that we live in a world which is a fallen world and there are many negatives and there are many things that happen around us which are not according to the will of God that we should partake into. You look into things that influence your daily life and if it is something that is not good, that is not acceptable, that is not edifying your mind, it is good to stay away from it. In this way, we have to make a conscious choice to keep each and everything under the scanner that would God be pleased if I do this. If God isn't pleased, if you slander someone, stop slandering. If God isn't pleased, accusing someone, blaming someone, stop doing it. If God isn't pleased, seeing what you watch, seeing the way you talk, then don't do it. But there is a decision that our mind has to make. And that is, I'm not going to act in the way that I used to do earlier before, but I'm going to act in the way that how Jesus would have done. Jesus was the epitome of a perfect sacrifice, of love that God needed to save mankind from the sins and put them onto the path of eternal life. You and me, all of us have this eternal life waiting for us. If we walk the path, wherein our mind will be renewed by daily by showing God's love, by showing Godly conduct and by doing what is good and acceptable in the sight of Him. May the Lord help us all in our daily conduct to live a life pleasing.